But the goal is we represent the company and everything they create. So I want you to sell it all, which is impossible. Something will always rise to the top as things will rise to the bottom. But one of the exercises that I've done in the past that I think work really well, especially with this collection, is Don's going to present a look, a collection, and then I want you to really brainstorm. This should be really creative. I want to hear from all of you, not for each collection, but yeah. uh, I actually want everybody to participate. It's really important. And say, what is what strikes you as really great about this collection and how are you going to sell it? Just a sentence. You know, what, are, what do you think is really great? So it's a brainstorming thing. There's nothing right, there's nothing wrong. We'll build on that after you do it, and we'll put all those comments together, and we'll give you documents to take home so that, or send them to you so that when you go out to sell, you've got everybody's thoughts together besides just what's in your own head. So that's the goal here. I am so excited about Spring 17, and I hope you guys will be too with what you see here. We have a lot of new, a lot, lot, lot of new. So um, I have a few notes so I don't forget things. I've called the collection A Joyful Life because we are there to celebrate life's occasions, the big occasions and the everyday occasions, like having breakfast, cooking a meal, whatever the occasion is, we become a part of people's lives and we want to celebrate that. And we are a joyful brand and our product is. So that's what this collection is about. Um, and we're a brand of love. We talked a lot about the brand earlier, but there's an emotional, we are a love brand that people really respond to and resonate with and they feel that when they bring us, they, they understand the authenticity of it. I think a lot of our customers write to us. So the first collection um, we are calling Simple Pleasures. Um, one of the words, some of the words we're putting around it are effortless decor. Simple pared down patterns are inspiring effortless decor in our Farm Fresh Simple Pleasures collection. Um, it's all printed on 100% hop sack. It's more simply styled than a lot of our traditional and our signature prints. There's no attached borders. The prints are a bit simpler. I don't know if people are familiar with hop sack, but it's a beautiful, soft, washed, very textural fabric. We've added either little pom-poms or tassels on the edge. So effortless, more simple, more kind of farm to table or farm to table cloth, as we like to say. Um, we have five prints in the collection. The first is Dandelion Dreams, and then we have our Backyard Rooster here in two colors. We fit in a green as well as a gold, and then we have Felicity's Flowers in a blue and a red. So five prints. Our tablecloth size here we're calling Brunch. It's a little smaller than our breakfast size. So we have one size tablecloth. We have the larger size runner that has the treatment at the end. Let's pick one up and let's put it on this table. Just yeah. Top right. sack is a weave, so is it 100% cotton? It's 100% cotton. It's a more open weave. It's really nice. How does it wash? Yeah. Beautifully. How about with the little... Just put it on is there. it pre-washed? It's pre-washed. We pre-wash everything. So, so no shrinkage. They wash fine. They wash fine? Okay. No shrinkage. You don't need a lot of ironing. I love the wrinkled effect, actually. We're not going to hard press it at the factory, so it has more of a wash, more of a relaxed look for today's dining. Not everyone has time to iron, and this fabric performs beautifully like that. Uh, Donna, I like some of the words you use. What's effortless? Effortless decor. Uh, farm fresh. Farm fresh, simplicity. or farm to tablecloth, a simplicity, more casual, relaxed. We have the one size tablecloth. The runner, a lot of people are not using tablecloths, but using runners with plates and things like that, and having the farm tables show. We're not doing traditional napkins here. We're doing a set of cocktail napkins. Oh. Mm -hmm. So a set of six cocktail napkins instead of the traditional larger size. And the runner is longer? The, the runner, runner is longer, longer and wider than our, our signature prints. It's more like what we're doing for the linen and lace collection. So it's the bigger size for your great farm tables. Mm -hmm. um, we have a kitchen collection here also. We're offering the apron in all five patterns. The tea towel also is on the hop sack. Again, 100% cotton, has a beautiful absorbency, washes well. We have the pocket pot holder, um, no tea towel in it. Again, this whole collection is a bit simpler, a bit easier to live with. Uh, we have, we're offering the throws in two of the prints with coordinating cushions. And then we have, let me talk a little bit about the pricing because it's great. 
So our brunch tablecloth wholesale in the U.S. is 18 and 19.50 in Canada. Fantastic. Your cocktail napkin set is 9.50 in the U.S. and 11 in Canada. That's for six napkins. Oh, is that yes, six? set of six. <coughs> yep. Your runner is 16 in the U.S., 18 in Canada. So great pricing. Mm -hmm. Apron 14.50, 17, and then the pot holder 7 and 9. So you can feel this, and it has great cotton stuffing. I use these at home as oven mitts, actually, not just mm -hmm. pot holders. Just yeah, we can pass, it, pass around a few things. Yeah. Donna, can you call out the print names one more time? So yeah, so we have Dandelion Dreams, Backyard Rooster, in the two colors, and Felicity's Flowers. So great patterns, year-round, perfect for spring, but we'll also, you know, they're, they're just perfect. And, what a great pricing. So this is a whole new look for us. Mm -hmm. The brunch cloth is how big? 48 by 48. 48 by 48. So it's a little bit smaller. And our apron, um, we now just have one size for our apron. We used to have the standard in the shaft. We have the one size, it has three buttons on it. Here we're using a wood button instead of um, the chalk button because we feel it fits more with this more relaxed. Feeling. So this is simple pleasures. Oh, it's amazing, 100% cotton, wow. um, chunky wow. knitted throw yeah. that we have in two colors. It's cotton. 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 cotton, so you can feel Instead the weight of, that, of this puppy. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so we have it in the green and the natural and the coordinating cushions. So this is just a piece. We can. And this is our bridge party. So we talked about the napkins. And what a great novelty piece, whether it's for antique stores or someone who's just looking for something different. It comes with the napkins. We have two colorways. We have the ecru and then we have the white. That's adorable. So super cute. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, we are pricing. Woohoo! So, not on everything, but on a lot. On the prints, right? On not every piece of the prints, but right. on a lot. A breakfast is now uh, wholesale nineteen fifty in the U.S. and twenty two in Canada. Oh, okay. so wow. it's okay. huge. That's Thank a huge you. drop, right? It's a huge. <laughs> It's a big drop. Yeah. It's well, a big drop. Previously, does anybody know? Twenty-four fifty. Yes. Yeah. It's a five-dollar drop. Travel. It's huge. It's huge. The dining cloth. Yeah. The dining cloth is now twenty-nine fifty in the U.S. and thirty-two in Canada. Wow. Fantastic. So we've That's taken fantastic. those are our two That's top huge. sellers. We've dropped those. Thank you. Um, we've dropped the price of the runner. It's now fourteen fifty. The apron is now fourteen fifty. So with all of these new prints, new pricing, there's no reason. Right. We've taken away all the barriers. Like it is what? sell. What? Sorry, what does that translate to in Canadian for what? runners and agents? Runners sixteen and seventeen. Over here, we like to merchandise all the kitchen stuff together as the kitchen shop uh, because we think it's fun for shops, you know, whether you have a booth or something, to be able to talk about all the kitchen together. We have our classic canvas aprons, our collar aprons that do so well. We've done some matching mommy and me's, our farmhouse style here in the willa and the fruit basket, uh, bringing forward the eyelet and the lace from this fall because they are seasonless. And then we have the embroidery's patchwork here and the crafts oh, and the oh, with the embroidery on it. So the embroidery adds a bit to the price, but it just, it's a draw. Everyone has the same. Um, you know, we have all of our runners, our placemats, our oven mitts, pot holders, tea towels. Mm -hmm. We've changed our little dish for spring. It's now going to be a set of four instead of a set of two. Little dish, and we've called it now a tiny tea towel. <laughs> so I saw that in the catalog last night. Yes, it's a 10 by 10 waffle here. Um, yes. Should we explain it in the catalog what it is? We could. We could. So it could be used for a dishcloth, a washcloth, uh, anything. Yes, sometimes 
guest towel napkins like yeah. my family with my kids these things are great <laughs> Um, the other things we have in our signature prints is we have all of the pennants that you see around. These do so well. We've had, we have our classic pennant size and then we have a new party pennant, which is the bigger ones that you see a couple of around. We have our market bags, we have our quilted bags, and we have... Where is the dangling? <laughs> And then I wanted to talk quickly about oil cloth. I think people have to move up there to see it. You can't see it from right here. So for our oil cloth, we have three prints. For the spring, we're bringing forward the strawberry and the navy. And then we have in full bloom in the blue and yellow, which Cafe Provence should buy. And then we have our Betty. Which is uh, all oh, yeah. Gorgeous. That looks like a Betty. Oh. <laughs> so we have our tablecloths and our market bags. Did they? Did you do any of those in an apron? Not in the aprons. Did not perform very well for us. So we didn't bring the aprons forward. Look at those colors. Other things in our signature print. I don't want to forget about is um, just can you give me those little castles? So. When you do manufacturing, you have a lot of scrap and a lot of leftover fabric. So we've decided to try to make some stuff out of it. So we have these really cute little tassels, very well priced. These are our boho tassels. We've photographed quite a few ways to use them, either as napkin rings. They hang beautifully on the corners of tablecloths. So on a windy day, they hold the tablecloth down. You put them on a wine bottle. Kind of all kinds of fun yeah, uses for these tassels. Very cute with the babies and children's collection. Yep. And then up there, coming from that hole, we've done a pennant using them as well. So a lot of fun. Just a new fun item. Mixes great actually over with Simple Pleasures also. Um, we're now selling uh, wine bags. Again, oh, using current and past season. They'll be sold as a sorted set of six. It's kind of whatever fabrics are available, but really Kind of well priced and a fun gift for wine stores, kitchen shops. Instead of mm -hmm. buying a paper bag, why not give it way in better. here? Like you can reuse it, and put your shoes in it to travel, and yeah. it all just layers beautifully. I mean, with their greens and their blues, and the yellows work with some of the stuff underneath. So. <laughs> in the green. So this layers throughout multiple parts of the collection, but I'm showing it right now with our blue and green story. Here's the lotus print in this beautiful line with the blue. Again, you see you take these dishes over here. Not that I want to sell Fiesta wear, but people, how do we coordinate? We do. <laughs> Almost every print we can find colors easily. And we have it in a few different colorways. Here's the sharp, the deep green with the blues. Beautiful. And then we also have the beautiful blue. So beautiful. Yeah. Exactly, but not too much where no, someone's going to be like, I don't like purple. It's right, because even when you put your regular fiesta wear on that, that yes. doesn't draw exactly. that. You it doesn't the draw that at all. It all just works. It does. <laughs> I have. Here's the bright. Look at this great Dobby stripe oh, here. so great. So fiesta. Isn't it? Yes. I love that. I love the weave. Yeah. Isn't the weave nice? Oh, it has a beautiful so texture to it. Yes. Oh, wow. What a great weave. And that, that comes in what's awesome. in the hand. I know, it's, it's definitely and breakfast and dining. dining. Yeah, and I think we did a you runner in this as well. Did you really? I think oh. so. And it's called what? Fiesta Stripe. And then we've done our Victorian rose print in this rich turquoise to layer back here with the hot pinks. And we have our water lily in the orange. Oh, yeah. I like that too. Look at that. This really rich orange and red color, the top pinks and the bright greens. 
this one is getting. The natural wildflowers. That's not quite my favorite, but I love the bright flowers. <laughs> yes. This is, oh, this is so pretty. Oh, wildflowers. Yes. That is gorgeous. Yeah. Yes. So you can, with that. I want to see what that looks like at that. Yes, it does. Oh, how fun so is that? Fun. We think it's nice. So pretty, so easy. For someone who's not quite ready to go there. I mean, like, look at this. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's like a meadow. Yeah. It's all meadow. Oh, is it meadow? Yes. I probably like that. It's bigger than I don't know. And then we have a new paisley. This is our cashmere paisley, and we've got this beautiful lavender color, which is great for Easter. Very elegant. Yeah. And what, I want to talk about our embroidered net toppers here, because this Angelique topper is for online is our number one top seller. So biggest surprise. Oh, I know it's hard because of what the material is. Right. How do you photograph and yeah. sell this online? But we've exactly. sold, we have a beautiful picture of it by itself, but also layered over the prints. People will call and say, I'm going to order that table. The round table cloth, the breakfast, and this. And they're talking, by the time you add all that up, they're over $200, but they just buy it. So, you don't want to forget and these. We have reordered that to the club. I don't know how many times yes. Yeah, I'm probably going to do this. I think I just did the same thing. Yeah. So, and this is, yeah, and we're looking at it. Oh, that's really cute. So, we've added another one. This is Margaret's embroidery here with the lavender flowers. For the same customer who wants the more romantic, the more kind of over the top. For your antique stores? Yes. Oh, my, it's Margaret's. Margaret's. Which end was that? Margaret. Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also have, oh no, we have a few more prints to go. Sorry. Go here. This is our new, another new print. This is Playful Paisley. And in a softer yellow. With the aquas and the grays. Gorgeous. A little bit more open. A little more playful. She's more hand drawn. <laughs> another. Here we have another great woven. This is our confetti stripe. It has a beautiful dobby weave texture to it, also, not just a plain stripe. And then layering in this whole group, we have the rose nouveau in coral. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very different. Yeah. And then the pattern. Incredible. Tea rose and aqua. Yeah. Oh, it's pouring. Is it rain? Yes. And here's the tea rose and the aqua. The beautiful coral. And I love it. Oh, wow. <laughs> love layering this with the chenille embroidered topper. Look at the texture and the embroidery on that. Oh, gee. Oh, that's embroidered chenille. It's embroidered oh, chenille. Oh, it's brilliant. What's the other linen? Well, price point is a big factor, but I don't like to sell things by price, for sure. But, um, like you said, it's I can see that in smaller stores also, more kitchen stores. Like, we had a gentleman last show, I don't remember. If you remember, the lady was very interested um, The the, uh, the the buyer, but the owner said no. It's too busy. Maybe that would work that this time. That's that customer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> are the dyes azo free? I'm just sort of thinking of the organic. Customer. They are not azo free. No, that's okay. Just yeah. The what? Azo what? Azo free. Sorry. I didn't hear the term. Azo. 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 It's a, it's a type of dye. Yeah. When we do the vegetable things, it's okay. type of thing. It's okay. azo free. And to talk about the tea towel, uh, it, is it more absorbent than the other ones? Or? I wouldn't say it's more. It's just the flatter weave. I know there's a lot of flower sack and yeah. things like that in the marketplace. Is it similar to a flower sack? Similar, yes. Okay. Yes. Because yeah. I know it's very, it's very cool. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, let's pass uh, maybe one of the tea towels around. 
think that's a great point that I don't think anybody should miss. If it's absorbent like a flower set. Mm -hmm. People, so many of us grew up right. with grandma that had that and they were great. And there's so many in the marketplace yeah. right now too. So, so well, I you, think just to cool. talk about our, um, what's it called? Backyard rooster. Backyard rooster. I think he's so darn charming. I agree. Mean, yes. Somebody yes. mentioned that we and need not only that, <laughs> There are towns now where people are keeping right chickens yes. right yeah. in town yes. and harvesting right. neighbors their neighbors have chickens. Oh. Neighbors have chickens. Yes. And I live in a suburb. There's yeah. no. no <laughs> that's so, well, I stopped at that's Farmhouse Pottery. Yes. And that's what we stopped. The There's chickens all over the yard oh, yes. at the store. Did you know? And yeah. that was oh, our did idea. Yeah. And backyard booster was all those kind of like hip people, yep. young folks yes. who are doing the backyard roosters um, <laughs> raising, you know, so. chicken raising and selling the eggs and all that. Your farm gave egg farmers something like oh, this. Oh yeah. Perfect. At yes. farmers markets. Well, no, but at the end of the, the farm lane, do you not ever see the egg sign? Maybe you don't. Oh, eggs. When they're you know, eggs, eggs, and you can go and buy in the them. country oh, roads, and they're selling the eggs. Oh, okay. Like the farm gate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not in population dense. No, <laughs> fair no, country. but in New Although York. when we moved in, there were chickens running around the yard. That's something. You know, in Victoria, <laughs> yeah, or in Vancouver <laughs> Island, there were all those farm. We didn't sell them all last year when we were in the Yeah. yeah. But people will ask about the absorbency because they're so mm -hmm. used to our, you know, thermal leaves and waffles. So will that re respond the same as like a linen tea towel will when you're doing um, glassware? I don't know. I haven't no, tested that. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm just. I, I mean, just without leaving lint. Yeah. Mm -hmm. really it may. It may. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have to try it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, so I'm trying them and so this we is have one extra sample. We'll try. Yes. Right there. Right there. That is not an extra. They're still photographing. Every sample here has a name on it. Yes. I guess these have to go back too. Okay. Okay. So that is. So did we pleasures. get enough there of what we wanted to say, um, Anne? I hope so. I think we got a lot from Donna when she first did it. I, yes. I'm hoping as we move on, what will you say to your customer? How will you introduce it to your customer? Effortless decorating. Oh, yeah. effortless, yeah. Effortless decor decorating, yeah. Okay. And definitely farm to tablecloth. I love backyard rooster. I love that. <laughs> Backyard rooster in downtown somewhere. Yes. <laughs> so next we're going to move over here. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, nothing's really in order. I did it how it fit. And this is our so display. When you're curious, let's just yeah. post up on here and display. Sure. That's what it's here. Okay, so next we're going to talk about our watercolors. Okay, so wow, like everyone I hope has had tremendous success with this because we have reordered our watercolors so many times, right, Jess? So many times. So many times. I know you guys have done well. At retail, we've done so well with it. It's been incredible. Mm -hmm. So we are expanding based on the need. So for spring, we are carrying forward three tablecloths and then, or four, and we have four new. So our first new here is the just yeah. Birds of the Boreal Forest. So April, being a birder, has done paintings on birch bark over the years. So we have taken her watercolors actually on birch bark and interpreted them in one of these prints. That so the birch bark is actually birch 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 also the birch bark. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Really yeah. It's yeah. not painted birch bark. They were painted on birch bark and we were able to digitally oh, reproduce oh them. Yes. So, so explain the process beautiful. for those of me who are new. <laughs> <laughs> so you take a digital photograph yep. and imprint it on? We take a high-res image photograph of April's actual watercolors and then we use that and we print directly from that photograph onto the fabric. Often we will take the watercolor original over to India and color match to that. Wow. Jimmy. Yeah. We try not to because we don't want them to travel so much, but yes. They get jet lag. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Worse than us. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. So if you are going to um, an Audubon Center or um, some kind of a bird center or something like that that is really interested in what are the birds in that, of course we can identify each and every one of these birds. There are many warblers. The warblers come from um, Central America and South America and travel all the way up to northern Quebec to nest. So they're a pretty spectacular bird and these are all in their summer plumage, their breeding plumage. 
So we only get to see that up north. And down south, of course, they become more dull colored as they're moving down to the tropics. But this is pretty much of a map of a boreal forest of what you will find there in June and July. So Quebec, no okay. need to sell us. Uh, no. <laughs> 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 is that going to be in just that size or oh, yeah. bigger? Oh, yeah. I'm going to so, talk about as we go through. Like this one is just in the breakfast size, like, like we're currently doing. doing. Oh, okay. um, but we so also here, will have. Here, here, um, like, so, you know, they stay the place so mat, oh, which is like new. We'll have the placemat, the yeah. runner. What's that? It's beautiful. So, this is the black and white warbler, Canada warbler, mergansers, <laughs> common mergansers, black green warbler, Deary. Deary is the one who has the ethereal song described so unbelievably beautifully. So we can get a list of birds from you, April, um, and we'll that? that. Yeah, we can give you all the names of the birds, yeah. mm. should you want them. Yes. Mm. Sure. So lark. There will be arboretums and Audubons that will want to know the names, so we yeah. can provide you the list. So we're offering this in the breakfast cloth, the placemat, which is printed on the mat lise to give it a beautiful texture, mm -hmm. wow. just like the See fall the ones. We can pass that around. We have birds. We also have a runner. Oh, cute! Really so beautiful with birch bark yeah. in the center and the birds at both ends. Love the birch bark. Yeah, cool idea. And we also have. We're doing a few market bags this season in the watercolors. We have the market bag for our birders who want to go birding with their birds, and then. <laughs> Uh, I believe we have an apron in this one as well. Somewhere. We have the apron also that has the birch bark with the birds. And we'll talk about tea towels separately at the end. So here's one of our new introductions. A second. Or no. Is tulips. Oh, wow. oh, really? So this is a flower that everyone loves. So we've oh. done this beautiful new Thank you. April painted these beautiful tulips in the pitcher. It was in a beautiful old enamelware pitcher. And we have the tablecloth and the full group in this with the tulips. And new for this season is we're introducing a dining cloth size. Oh, okay. And they are just Yay. spectacular, I just have to say. <laughs> They are amazing. So I'm going to unfold actually all of the ones we're offering because they are so beautiful. Very pretty. So, wow. Wow. Right? It's a big wow. So we're also carrying for peony. Yeah. Yeah. And we're adding the dining and peony. Here it is. Oh, that's beautiful. So we did a photograph of this. It's just gorgeous. Under this big willow tree. It's beautiful. So we have peony. We have the tumbling hydrangea. The dining cloth. Boy, that translates really well. Yeah, Isn't it, it gorgeous? This is what I'm gonna get. <laughs> so like how about outdoor oh. weddings and things like yes. that? Wow, right? It's gorgeous. That's so just that old. It's just artwork. Yeah. I mean, it is truly artwork. It's to stop and appreciate each one. We're also going to carry forward the Snapdragon, and we've added a dining here. They're all so different. They're all so different. So yeah. I love that. So pretty. So, so dining like cloth. Four dining cloths. Four so dining new. cloths. I forgot to tell you. So on the breakfast cloth, we've lowered the price just a little bit. Oh. So in the U.S., we are going to be... Uh, 39.50 and 42 in Canada. Nice. So we're adding the dining size, and then let's go through some of the other new ones that we added. So we have our wine country. So for all of the years, April's done these beautiful paintings of grapes and leaves with all the watercolor wash in the background. So 
this is our wine no, country. No, there are vineyards even in Alaska. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ice wine. <laughs> I, I visited a vineyard in Alaska, so I mean, That's seriously. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> there must be fast going grapes. And we love, there's just a few little hummingbirds flitting around. Yeah, here's one of them. Oh, oh yeah. And we have April's Reef. So over the years, April's painted lots of birds and shells and turtles. So here they are in starfish. Oh, I love the seahorns. So mm -hmm. a lot of fun here. Seahorns. Oh, yeah. So those are our new print introductions for the tablecloths. Wow. Fantastic. Um, a lot of them have, you know, the placemats and the runners that go with them. Oh, we no. have a few Beautiful. cushions that we've oh. added. We're carrying forward the peony. But we also, we've also done the tulip, and we've added all this beautiful top embroidery. We'll pass it around, as so you guys can see. Same for April's Reef. Can you see that? No. See, there's a little sparkle. Oh, look, there's a sparkle on this one. Yeah, that one too. So <laughs> Is there someone else? Yes. Sorry, I skipped the pear. The pears is also going to carry forward from fall. And it's just regular size. It's regular size. No dining size for this. We tried it, but and they just got area. so huge. <laughs> <laughs> they were a little scary. <laughs> <laughs> What's that one called? Oh, this is the pears. <laughs> yeah, the giant bird, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were. And then we have the tree saving priestess over here in the corner. You know, April takes so much inspiration from nature and art and trees and birds and flowers. She's developed her own priestess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we come over here and we have the wine country. We have the peaches and plums, which to me is just beautiful. It's again with the fruit, but it also is just a beautiful still life. April's Reef, and then the pears. Okay, and we turn around. And out here on the left, starting from the left, Snapdragon has done so well this year, as has Tumbling Hydrangea and Peony. Uh, the Mother's Poem Tea Towel, again, we reordered so many times and it kept selling out, so bringing that forward. And then the three additional new ones is uh, the Tea Party, the tulips and fussy mussy. Tussy. Uh, fussy mussy. Uh, <laughs> I knew I was going to get that wrong. <laughs> so a tussy mussy is like sort a, of a, a nosegay. It's a, like a, a little cone that you put flowers in. Mm -hmm. So April, or excuse me, Donna, what are these made out of? And They're 100% cotton. Okay. Like a cotton duck. Yeah. It's a cotton duck, and they're one of our top-selling tea towels in the different prints through the years. So we just continue to expand the range. So we actually have um, four textures of um, fabrics in the general collection. Like we've got the hop sack, mm -hmm. we've got the um, the cotton duck, we've got the regular sheeting, and we've got the honeycomb yep. and, and the linen. Well, we can recap that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's the watercolor. So a lot of new wow. here also with four new tablecloths, plus ten new tea towels. towels, the new dining cloths, market bags, throws. Yes. A lot of excitement here because we've seen the collection so excited. So I can't wait to hear stories about how well it's selling, about the new items. So you got an overview. You've been selling this before. There's lots and lots of new. What are you going to tell your customers to keep this going? I mean, besides explaining the new patterns, I think it sells itself a lot of times. <laughs> so yeah. beautiful. Really, you can start I think so. times. Yeah. So yeah. just the people are so drawn to it. A lot of times, it's, they, they yeah. said it's artwork. Some people are framing them. They don't even mm -hmm. want to use them because they think they're so beautiful. So I think it just sells itself so easily. So it's beautiful. It's like artwork. It sells itself. Mm -hmm. Well, it's great. artwork, you see, artwork you're, is the word. You're yeah. drawn to it, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just because it mm -hmm. is artwork. Somebody explain again how the process works. How would you tell your customer that? So what if it is art? 
Well, it starts with April. <laughs> on, right. our, on our yes. easel. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then I saw the pear when we went to your house for the last yeah. party. The pear was the original one, and then the next day it ended up in a tea towel, yeah. which I love to see that. So that's what I tell everybody. Yeah. That's great. Uh -huh. But the process itself is so fascinating to mm -hmm. me. So high resolution good. image printed directly on the fabric. There you go. And that sometimes the art actually travels to India, right? So the color is exactly correct. Mm -hmm. Like and it, it is artwork. still extremely challenging because there's so many colors in a watercolor because of the water releasing yeah. paint in yeah. a different way over the entire image. But because of the digital process, it can capture each tint, which we cannot do in screen printing. Right. You have to break it down to eight or ten screens, let's say eight or ten colors. You can overlap some to get more. But for this, you can actually capture everything. But it still requires a lot of uh, sensitivity on the photographer's part and on when it gets translated into the equipment to digitally print it, that also has to be calibrated in the same way. And they turn out to be like automobiles. Each one is rather unique, these machines, and are fussy and temperamental and, you know, okay, it's going too yellow. You know, okay, that's getting a little neon or something, so they have to pull it back. So there's still a lot of manipulation and expertise on the part of the, the printer, but we can capture 500 colors. Which is amazing. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what makes a difference. For the block printing process, I always remember, you know, April Cornell, nine colors, is that right? But in the screens, we use eight to ten. Eight to ten colors, yeah. but no one does that. No, no. The screen printing actually is becoming less and less common and more and more rare. Just the way block printing has become really a very craft thing only, and it's always been passed down generations, and now you go and all of the uh, printers are old. Yes. They're like, okay, where's the 20 year old or the 30 year old or 40 year old? They're all over 50. So like that thing is becoming more and more rare, the block printing. Screen printing, it is so difficult really, and um, there aren't as many people requiring prints like us, printing mills are just closing down. So all of these things have a value that is, you're seeing special something special, print. you know. And luckily the digital way of printing is something that can capture an artist's hand. But the screen printing is also becoming a more rare and difficult thing to produce. So I think it's pretty cool that we get to own it. That's but I think we need any more words over here that we can give to Lily. So our first time salesperson going out and selling them has something to say. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it has a story. Yeah. You can always say, this is my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Good to yeah. work with. Yeah. And as always. So these are digitally printed, the watercolors? Yeah. Yes. But the other things are screen printed? Yes. Okay. You didn't know that, right? I, I had an idea, but I, w I hadn't had it confirmed. So yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's a different, a whole different world. I've taken screen printing, it's very difficult. It's very difficult yeah. and very inexact. Mm -hmm. It's really challenging. Yeah, big process. So we're ready for the next group to talk about. We're going to come. Sorry, it's all out of order. We're going to come over here. I'm not here. <laughs> so here we have our linen and lace collection, which we introduced and launched with fall, and we are really pleased with the results that we're seeing for both the printed and the jacquard. I hope everyone has experienced some success and I do after I finish talking about the new things think we should talk about that a little bit because it's a different price point it's a higher price point mm -hmm. so we are carrying forward all three of the jacquard colors for spring and we're adding one new one which is a mist it's this beautiful soft gorgeous. blue gorgeous for a jacquard and then for our print also carrying forward the heirloom rose the Jacobs Court and the Victorian rose and we're adding our new beckoning bokas print here, which is just beautiful gold, traditional, more tropical type print. Let's just pull the table over to the top. Yeah. 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 So beautiful with the gold edge, beckoning bokas. Are they what? 
apple. They're no, flowers. flowers. Okay. They're flowers. They're more tropical florals. But again, it has the watercolor effect in with it also. So new, different in the marketplace. These are also digitally printed, kind of taking our classic look but adding a new twist. 100% linen. So carrying Can you forward. just uh, describe the background again for a second? Yes. It is a washed watercolor that kind of comes in and out. And so it has that movement to it and the irregularity that you get. Mm -hmm. So beautiful, something different to offer to the customers who like the more luxurious and the higher end shops. So. And like linen. And like linen. So we have the linen and then the cotton linen jacquard. And they all layer beautifully back and forth with each other. Because all of a sudden, doesn't the Victorian rose look so different mixed with this new soft mist? Mm -hmm. Or you can mix it with the natural. Same here with the Jacob's Port. They all start to and that, mix and match together. And really well, too, right? Yes, I'm very, very hard. Well. We have the napkins available in them also. So you can see you can just keep playing with the colors. We offer breakfast and dining, and then the napkins that have the smaller crochet edge. And I know when you were displaying those at the Toronto show, the nap, the solid napkins next mm -hmm. to this was drawing a lot of attention mm -hmm. for people who were looking for like a more upmarket um, My charcoal dining experience. <laughs> just seeing that um, array of the solid mm -hmm. napkins drew a lot of mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. purchases. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. You can see how you can just layer it and beautiful. And like the watercolor, we didn't really talk about it there. It's a higher price point, so is the linen. You know, the order sizes with these is really nice when they come really in. They really add up. They add up quickly. The larger runner, too. Right? Yeah, the larger runner in both the solid and the jacquard. So as much as, it is, as possible to keep these stories together so you can not you know they can see the whole experience you can feel the experience when you're just looking at the linen and seeing those colors together mm -hmm. and the watch together you layer it up it just gets mm -hmm. oh this is easy to work with because it all is designed to coordinate back and forth with each other so that linen cloth that we had for spring summer 16 yes. sold out initially right so yes it was very yeah. popular yeah so i'm doing great in fact in all these collections have been sellout collections that we've had as much as possible we've reordered. Sometimes right. we cannot reorder. Like with the watercolor, we can reorder pretty easily. Here, with some of it, we can as well. So we're trying to keep these in stock and not have them sell out. We can't always do it, but we try where we can. So, so for special orders on a specific size for customers, great. Yes. Again, they only have to call in and order one. Mm -hmm. Yes. So they can test a lot of different you know, of the colors and the solids with one piece, right? These right. are all, are they two pieces? I these? don't know what the middle twos are on these. Twos probably twos. Are twos. Yeah. Probably twos. So. Anyways. so that's our linen and lace. You know, we're letting it get momentum, adding a little bit of newness to it. And I'd love to hear some of your experiences with fall because all I know about fall is the numbers that I see. So I'd love to hear some of the customer experiences. So what were some of the positive comments? This was a new introduction. What did you hear when you were selling it? How, what do you think worked? What what kind of customer liked it? Everybody liked it. So you're having, yeah. Yeah, I probably did that in the beginning with the solids of cards. People love the cranberry. Um, but the solids, people unreservedly went for them. Yep. What I noticed at the Toronto show was it seemed to be bringing in new customers mm -hmm. who weren't actually um, looking at most of our booth and they're just like, what is this? You know, and they yep. so was drawing people in who had not maybe looked at April Cornell for a while. Mm -hmm. yeah, but maybe yeah. they weren't April Cornell customers, but this they were, it felt new. So I felt like the newness was super important. Mm -hmm. April, was it, like the, the was it a print feeling? that would draw people in? I would think that would be what I would catch it, your attention. It was, it was merchandise together. Okay. So they could see from the yeah. aisle that this was a different kind of a fabric, and they were drawn to it. And it was a nice setup. It was 
quite a romantic setup, and it kind of really reflected this very much. It wasn't large. It wasn't a large setup. But no, because it, totally it was just a round table like this. So we had the, the Victorian rows layered on the on the cranberry, yeah. I believe, and then had all of the napkins. They had the runners. The had the runners um, layered on top of the table, and all of the napkins nested. So each of these solid napkins was nested inside one of the pattern napkins. Can you take a um, I do have some pictures. Yeah. Share. Absolutely. So that was, they had this pretty near the edge of their booth. Like, say this was the edge. They had, their booth is three. So they had this kind of here. Then we had the watercolors. Watercolors were near the front. We have, um, it's a 20 by 20 with one wall at the back. So the, we've got one um, season on one side, the other season, the current season, on usually on the left. And there are the breakfast cloth units on the corners. And then we set up the... I nested the magazine rack. We have a net magazine rack, and I nested that into one of the round tables, and that became our watercolor display. Mm. And that was just to the right of the main breakfast cloth unit, so it transitioned very, very nicely after working on the breakfast cloths into the watercolors, if they didn't start with the watercolors, which frequently happened. <laughs> yeah. well, Where I found that's, sorry, sorry, yeah, it's putting those, the watercolors, this, this time, the simple pleasures, the things that are going to call to the people who may not be coming to our booth anyways, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. over, mm -hmm. or however you're, you can show, so. There were some definitely higher end Toronto accounts who I don't think had shot with us before. It was just, they were more, maybe, um, furniture and interior stores yeah, as opposed to lighting stores and furniture stores yeah. but last show was the best show in 10 years wow yeah. Yeah. so it was a super show we haven't seen people like that at the show in 10 years a lot of home decor store came home decor they yeah. usually more don't than come. the gift shop yeah, the home yeah. decor. Well, they came in the a lot of that is no, well, they, they came to the dollar. show. Yeah, right. I yeah. saw names the there show. that yes. I never seen yeah. before. Oh, good. So, but Nunes counts, and so I think does Nunes counts. Yeah. So does sure. show me the money. <laughs> yeah. In my yeah. mind, you know, for all of us, and what's important in better stores, they're going to be attracted to something that's new and in a luxury market where may, they may not have seen us that way before. Right. right. So. That's really important. I, I highlight really that. felt mm -hmm. that we got some interest from people that were not just our gift stores. They mm -hmm. were a different level of customer. And um, they loved it. And mm -hmm. they weren't seeing anything like this. So we were showing them, in the morning we said unique, we were showing them something unique that they weren't going to meet mm -hmm. anywhere else. Is this 18 inches? Uh, 20. Oh, good. Yeah, our napkins are now 20. All? Yes. Well, 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 it's not the woman, but the, not the yeah. plaids. The essentials are yeah. 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 I think the new, and I think what we talked about, if, if some of these new decor stores don't go to the show every time, let's not forget them. Let's right. go back out in touch with them. them. Yeah. 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 But they're more hard to reach those stores because the owners are never there because they're home decor stores or, you know, like. Email. But I know we, we try to find the email and we email them. It's the best way. And not mailing our catalogs. Yeah. So, um, newness. Yeah, and they get just confirmed, maybe you can go over it as well, that it's hand crocheted along the edge. It's crocheted, but not by hand. Hand guided machine. <laughs> so we do some stuff yeah. crochet, but not okay. this. Okay. Okay. So crochet edge on the napkins, and then the lace. Is there anything about it's this? a crochet lace? It's a okay. wide. It's a yeah. Um, I would say newness, Lily, is really important. I, and it, yeah, very romantic. It goes very well with the new shabby chic look also yes. that's going on. So yeah. it fits right in there. And there's beautiful photography for this mm -hmm. also. Yes. Yeah, it's, you're right. It's the rusticity with luxury. The very French shabby chic look that's yeah. going on right now. But we call it brocante. Brocante. Mm -hmm. French. Like <laughs> <laughs> B-R-O. C A N T E. <laughs> you know, if you can throw a few French words in yes. 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 your boots, it yes. definitely breaks the so price. Yes. <laughs> it's very, how do I say, mm -hmm. blanc <laughs>
Brokkan. What does that Brokkan. mean? Brokkan. <laughs> 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 it's yeah. Uh, Brokkan yes. is. Uh, and it yeah. washes the those, same. Like, those yes. antique shops yes. that we were talking about before. It's a bit. Oh, perfect for antique shops that we have. Gorgeous for antique yeah. shops. Yeah. It's really surprising. Right. So that is linen, or linen and lace. Yeah. I sold something. Okay. So next we go back here. Beautiful. Keep your hands open. So gorgeous. Do you like some assistance? Sorry, Monica. Sorry. Look, you're getting wheeled. Oh, 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 you're get